Hey everyone, hope you're having a super awesome day. Welcome back to Crafting with JC. For today's video, I'm going to share with you a couple quick and inexpensive decor DIYs for your home. And they are absolutely adorable and so easy to make. For the first DIY, you will need two of these 11 by 4 inch frames from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the boards, so turn them over and pull back those metal tabs and remove the boards. I'm going to save these for a later project. With my pliers, I remove the sawtooth hanger and that easily pops right out, as well as all the metal tabs. You're going to need 8 tumbling blocks, which I got from Dollar Tree. And I glue two blocks together at a time and I make four of these. So now I take my rectangular frames and stand them up and I'm going to have the holes from the sawtooth hanger be on the bottom because that part is going to be covered up later. Get your favorite multi-surface glue and apply that on the ends of the glued blocks and place it down between the two frames like so. Then do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to take another block and apply glue on the ends as well and this time make sure it's even with the top and then do the same thing on the other side. You definitely want to clamp this to prevent the top blocks from slipping down or you can apply painters tape and turn it on its side but let it dry completely. Next you will need 10 super jumbo craft sticks and these are about 7.9 inches and these will make the base. I get a ruler and measure. I'm going to cut the sticks down to about 5 inches. Once that is all cut, I'm going to place them down like so, making sure they are evenly spaced out and then I glue them down. And that is all for assembly. Now there are some areas that need some touch ups and this is a very easy fix. I'm just going to fill in those gaps and you'll definitely want to do this if you're going to leave this unpainted. You'll need a little spackle and this one from Dollar Tree and some matching acrylic paint color. I'm using khaki from Apple Barrel. Scoop up a little spackle and add a very small drop of paint and mix that together. Then fill in those areas that need it and I just wipe it off immediately with a napkin and that is it. That makes such a dramatic difference. Now I am going to paint this white but here is what it looks like unpainted. I'm going to paint it white using Waverly chalk paint, but you can definitely paint it whatever color you prefer. So I apply the paint all over and that is it for this one. Absolutely adorable, perfect for displaying your favorite greenery, flowers, or succulents. I just love it. For the next DIY, I'm going to be using the two picture frame boards from DIY number one. And I have two more from a previous tutorial and I'll link that video above. So first remove the words and these easily come off. You just have to carefully pry it out. I'm going to be using home for this project and I'll be saving the other three for another one. Then I pull out the decorative paper and this is going to be the back so you can leave it if you want or you can cover it up but I do want to paint the back, so to remove the rest of the paper, I just take a damp cloth and rub that on top and the paper comes off easily. And this really just takes a few seconds to do. I didn't want to spend too much time doing this, so whatever didn't come off the first time around, I left it and it was good enough to paint over. I check the front to make sure everything looks good and clean, then I turn it back because now it's time to connect the boards together. I'm going to use four super jumbo craft sticks, so I lay them down like so, then I measure and then cut, and I do the same thing with the other sticks. To make sure the boards are evenly spaced out, I place these small skewers between. I lay the craft sticks back down just to position it where I want it to be before gluing, 
I place a smaller craft stick on the side just to make sure it's straight and then I glue the sticks down with wood glue. And then I do the same thing on the other side. For extra support, if you want, you can glue down smaller craft sticks over those joints where the two sticks come together. Once completely dried, it is ready to paint. I'm going to paint the boards white with Waverly chalk paint. So with a brush, I apply the paint all over the boards, making sure they are evenly coated. You can paint this whatever color you want and just customize it to your preference, but whatever color, it's going to look amazing in the end. I distress with a dark gray. This is Pewter from Apple Barrel and I get that all over the edges and corners and I lightly brush here and there until it looks like distressed wood and wow, what a difference paint makes. I take the home sign, I like it just the way it is and I apply hot glue on the back and place that towards the bottom. And I was a little undecided if I was gonna put some greenery or a wreath. Either I think would have looked awesome, but I went with the greenery. So I pulled out a couple branches from a greenery bouquet that I've had and I tied the ends together and that makes it easier to glue down. I'm also going to add these adorable paper and faux leather flowers. So I hot glue those down, I place the three flowers side by side and it looked perfect. If you want to hang this, you can hot glue a piece of rope on the back. And that is it. This came out so adorable and even better than I could have imagined. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.